Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is part 4 of Squid Server of our LZH Project Server Edition. Hope you guys are doing good. And today in our fourth uh, session, our fourth part of Squid, we'll try to cover two things. Uh, first is how we can password protect internet access and the second is how we can make a Squid Cache. So uh, let's start. Uh, we are in our server 2 and let's go to our squid configuration file uh, which we already know that it's in etc squid. I'll just use vim squid.conf and I'll just browse to if you remember last time we created this ACL for bad guy and stopped his internet access. Okay just above this deny all I'm just going to add another ACL uh, but first I need to make sure one thing and I want to show you one thing we are going to password protect uh, this success or we are going to uh, enable authorization using NCSA so let me show you where it really is uh, let's go out of this shift Z okay so this uh, NCSA auth program, or it's a library, it should be an it should be available in CDUSR lib because I'm using 64. It's 64 bit. Okay. Okay. Here's the library squid, and here you can see this basic underscore ncsa auth lsc ltr basic yeah so this is the file which is going we are going to enable in our squid uh, configuration file so let's go back in our squid dot conf it's an etc squid vim squid.conf okay so over here I'm just going to press insert like I for insert and I will create and first I need to write what auth parameters are so auth param basic and program and I'm going to use for USR lib 64 squid slash uh, basic underscore NCSC underscore auth okay and I will be using squid password file from etc that we will create later etc squid and squid underscore password so what this file is you uh, is saying this line it's you it's saying to use auth parameters of basic program from usr library 64 squid basic ncsa auth and the password file will be stored in etc squid okay after this i will create an acl acl let's call it uh, ncsa underscore acl and then it's uh, it requires a proxy auth it's required okay and then we allow http access allow ncsa underscore acl let's create it ncsa user underscore just make more sense well you can name it anything so ACL NCSA underscore user 
proxy auth required and I guess that's it so now we need to just save and quit and then we'll just go to create with HT pass WD hyphen C to create that file in uh, etc squared and we call it et squared underscore pass wd okay and then i need to mention the username so i can create cell so what it's saying is to create a user a new user and if it doesn't exist it will be created i can show you right now that this file doesn't exist so where i am right now I'm in etc squared already so if you can see that well, we don't have any this uh, squared underscore password file so let me create one okay ht passwd hyphen c and etc squared and squared underscore pass wd and user is cell press enter it will ask for the password you just enter your password and retype the password if everything goes good you'll see a user will be created and we can now examine this if we say ls dash a we can see that now squid underscore pass wd exists so let's examine this file and you can see it has the username and the encrypted password okay uh, cat etc pass wd grep cell will reveal nothing because it's not a local user account it's just a uh, account or user created in the file so that's it let's uh, try to browse the internet and first let's check if squid is running system ctl status squid and it's running so let me pause the video and let's go to another machine a client machine from where we will try to browse okay i'm in client machine so we have this browser opened and uh, let's uh, change the proxy setting uh, as per our uh, needs so i'll just go to just a minute okay i'll just go to edit preferences connection and we remember that our proxy server is 192.168.1.2 and then I'll just click OK and close okay let's try to browse something I have lost my mouse for a while okay let's try to browse something let's go to linuxworld.co and at the moment proxy is refusing because we need to check the firewall just uh, I, I'll pause the video for a while okay I'm back to server 2 and I just wanted to show you guys that what actually happened and why it was not browsing if you remember yesterday we blocked this bad guy uh, in our squid configuration we created this ACL this one so that is that is the reason uh, the access was blocked so I have just commented these lines and now let's go back to client and try to browse the internet okay I'm back to client so let's try to browse if my mouse allows come on okay finally we are there okay so let's try to browse linuxworld.co there we have it 
it's asking for the password and until and unless we provide the password it's not going to let us through so let's try to enter the wrong password It's asking again. Asking again. Okay, what will happen if I just cancel this? Okay, cancel. It's not letting me through. And if you see that it's saying error cache access denied. Okay, what if I try to give a correct password? And it will let us through, and soon we will have our internet. There we have it. So perfect, it's working fine. Um, but once you give uh, give this the password, so then you will no longer have to provide the password every time. Uh, BBC.co.uk. So that's how we enable uh, password protecting internet access and I'm going to make another video for cache because this video is already past uh, 10 minutes. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and we'll see you in part 5 of Squid. It's going to be a final video. Thank you.